Welcome to our ultimate tour of the Marco Polo cruise ship. Here we show you around the outside decks, four different types of cabin, dining and food options and the bars and lounges. Starting right at the top at the aft of the ship on navigator deck is where you find the jacuzzis. A great spot to watch a sail away and also for observing the decks below. It was very wet on our cruise to Dublin, but we know if we were cruising to sunnier climates, we would have spent a lot of time out here. We really loved the openness of the aft decks. If you wanted more sea views, the promenade decks run both sides of the ship and they're lovely and old fashioned and wooden which is very rare these days and rather conveniently it leads right to our room. This is our cabin 623. Good afternoon, welcome to our room. <laughs> right then, so this is our cabin and we've got twin beds which haven't got an option of being put into a double. As you can see there's a big chest of drawers. Sorry if we're a bit wobbly, we're, we're at sea and we're in the Irish Sea and the swell's about three metres so um, that's why we might be a bit wobbly. But we've got a window but it's an obstructive view so see we've got all the the deck chairs there, but you can see the sea out there. But it's been a really comfortable cabin, hasn't it, Paul? Yeah, that's nice. Can't complain. Um, single beds have been a bit odd because we're used to snuggling up, aren't we? But not a problem. Here's we've got a uh, tea and coffee, which and a kettle, which uh, we're travelling a party of eight, which will show you the different category of cabins and what they actually entail. But this is our obviously ours six two three. So more storage here as well. Yeah, <laughs> no fridge um, and plugs. We've got actually a square um, flat pin and round pin Europe's, which we thought we'd just have European, didn't yeah, we? But we've got both, so so that's fine. We've also got a little telly, if we just swing around here, which has got news channel, film like channel. Film channel where it's, there's basically three films a day which are on a constant loop. So, yeah, but then but then they change every day, so you get the opportunity to read yeah. through nine different films. So, so yeah, we've had Paddington and the Orient Express, haven't we? Yeah, no, 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 and then we've got our ensuite bathroom, which there's a big step actually, and we travel with Paul's dad a lot, and he would struggle with this, wouldn't he? Yeah. But a big step, about a foot high, and then we've got obviously a, a shower here, which we do get toiletries, uh, decent size with a curtain. Um, it is old school this ship. I mean, it's fifty three years old, isn't it? Yeah. But the biggest flush in the world. Um, but we've had no problems. It's no. been perfectly comfortable. We've only been on here for for three three nights, but we could quite happily stay in here longer, couldn't we? Yeah, four nights maybe. No, <laughs> we could. So yeah, so this is cabin six two three on the Marco Polo cruise wardrobes. ship. Oh yes, we've got the wardrobes. So wardrobes actually with a lot of storage space in here. So there you've got a safe. Obviously a wardrobe hangers and room above which has got the life jackets and there's another single wardrobe board just by the door which is big enough to obviously put our put our case in as well so no problems with storage whatsoever so there we are cabin 623 on the marco polo we've got pacific deck seven and this is where nat and Al's cabin is so just in the corner from here and we'll show you around a standard inside cabin, which is 471. Do you come in? So, decent size. Single beds again, 
with a configuration with a large set of drawers. In fact, they're bigger than our. This is probably wider than our cabin, isn't it? Lots of mirrors, obviously shopping from Dublin. Um, no water included, however you do pay. It's two euros 80, isn't it, Paul, I believe? So you've got your plugs here, same as uh, our cabin, round and some two flat pins too. Uh, but comfy beds, we've been told in here as well. And you've got a big... Uh, Ooh, whoa, yeah, <laughs> avalanche. Avalanche. This very tidily packed wardrobe. <laughs> so, and there we have the safe. The safe is under those bags there somewhere. So, uh, yeah. uh, and then you got your ensuite bathroom, exactly the same as ours, ours. But again, with the step. So you need to be quite careful in the ship because it's quite a bit wonky ship, isn't it? Because it's so old. There's lots of little lips and. Um, and you've got to be six foot tall to flush the toilet. Yes, like and that. the flush here is uh, up on the wall there. Biggest flush button in the world but quite high so uh but yeah little um what do you call that washing line at the top there as well so but same size as ours that was on deck nine isn't it so yeah there we are so this is a a standard inside, inside cabin, cabin on the marco polo so this is the atlantic deck cabin 301 our friends dick and Sally staying in so this is a guaranteed outside cabin, which has got the owl-shaped configuration and a television up there and two portholes, which if you did book an outside cabin, it's a bit odd that you can actually see out the windows really. But uh, two portholes and some white pudding, <laughs> but that's another story. So, um, but yeah, two beds, single beds, exactly like ours. Um, but in an L shape and then you've got the same drawers and the same plugs in there yep yeah, so they've got their own plugs too three door wardrobe so lots of space and there's a, also a safe in there and I'll just show you through the bathroom which is the same as the other cabins that we've we've been showing you so just with an ensuite and a shower curtain etc a uh, hair dryer in there so and again the lip that's a good foot high to get in so but yeah decent sized cabin and this is cabin 301 on the Marco Polo cruise ship I've been given the opportunity to look in a suite on navigator deck and this is suite 806 so we're just gonna have a look around ah look so you've got a seating area there, you've got an obstructed view, obviously you've got the, the lifeboat there. Bigger telly than we, is that a bigger telly pool? Um, not much. Enough. Not much, but you've got a fridge. Yeah, there's a fridge there. What's in it? Um, cold stuff. <laughs> ah, so you've got a little mini bar there. Oh, okay, fab. And you've got tea coffee facilities bottle of bottle of wine in there nice big double bed actually isn't it that's not too the cabins we've seen so far they're all twins aren't they um but yeah nice size cabin like the seating area there and into the bathroom then and we've got a bath a nice marble effect hello <laughs> so uh yeah, decent size and extra mirrors, etc. And we've got obviously the wardrobes as you walk in. Looks like two wardrobes, isn't it? So hangers and with the safe. Oh, and you've got some slippers and dressing gowns and your beach towels there, which haven't really needed in Dublin. No. <laughs> and the other wardrobe, Paulie? That's one more you want to need, like, to get a Just, yeah. Just uh, another big wardrobe, so plenty of storage. So, uh, so that's good. So there we are. So that's cabin five oh, not no, it's not five oh six, eight oh six on the navigator deck. Next up, are a look around the bars and lounges. But we're going to start right at the front of the ship in the Marco Polo lounge. A really spacious lounge with very efficient bar service and comfortable seating. There were shows here twice nightly, 
the first at seven o'clock and the second at nine. Next up is the Captain's Club. A large spacious lounge, lots of windows so you can sit and watch the world go by. Excellent bar service, you can get yourself a cocktail in here. Entertainment in the afternoon in the form of quizzes to keep your brain ticking over and there's also a pianist that will play you some nice soothing music. It's also the place to go if you want a speciality coffee and we found this to be an excellent place for our evening drink before we went for our meal. As you come out of the Captain's Club you'll find the shore excursion desk on the right and opposite you'll find reception. Next up is the Palm Garden, which is situated on the left hand side as you go past reception. A lovely little bar where there's lots of natural light, big windows to sit and watch the world go by, and there's a bar service as well so you can sit and enjoy a nice cocktail or a beer. And opposite is the photo gallery. <laughs> Next up is the Columbus Lounge, right in the centre of the ship and a good place to, to sit if the, the sea's a little bit rough. We love this little nautical space, it had a ship's wheel and the most amazing globe. And opposite you will find the little coffee shop. <laughs> This was our favourite little spot. We certainly had some fun in here. If you're looking for some quiet, you can find the Livingston Lounge, which is the library. Shh, I'm trying to read. <laughs> uh, only a small area with about five or six chairs, but um, like I say, if you want a little quiet area, this is the perfect place to be. Next up is Marco's Bistro. This leads out onto the pool deck, but on your way through, on the left hand side, there is a tea and coffee station. So if you do want a little beverage before you go outside, or even to take it outside, you can get one here. If you go up one deck to deck nine, you will find Scott's Bar. So this is Scott's Bar, where it seems all evening entertainment is. Quite a lively place. Not now, obviously, because it's in the day and we're docked, but um, just to show you around. They had a duo playing last night and then the cabaret singers. Actually, we had a good night in here with some silly game shows as well. Mixed seating, some comfortable, some not so comfortable. But this is Scott's Lounge, or Scott's Bar. And it leads out onto the pool deck at the aft, uh, where so there's some seating and smoking area if that's your thing. As you can see through the windows, a lovely picturesque view of uh, industrial Dublin. Scott's Bar definitely was a fun place to be and we ended up spending all our evenings here. It really was a good place to have a good party. Now let's show you some food and dining options on the Marco Polo cruise ship.
Marco Polo also boasts a computer room, a fitness centre and a wellness spa. Here's a little look around. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the CMV Marco Polo. If you'd like to see more videos from Paul and Carol Loves to Travel, don't forget to ring that bell. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.